Hello self perfector So in order to make our QR code Python project to work properly on AWS Lambda, we need to set up some Lambda layers. So what is a Lambda layer? So whenever we have, for example, Python project, and then we install some libraries using pip, for example, we do, for example, pip install numpy or pandas. So in our case, we were using poetry, poetry at numpy. So whenever we add dependencies to our code, we need to put these dependencies in the Lambda layer or along the code directly to make it work. So it's basically a collection of libraries. I'm gonna attach some this link in the video explaining to you about Lambda layers and how we can create it. So the easiest way that I found to set up QR code in our project and the most uniform way to do it was by using Docker. So I'm gonna create a Docker container, a Docker script to set up the libraries correctly. And then we're gonna deploy the final file, the zip file into the AWS Lambda layer console. So let's do this. So this is our project. So basically I'm gonna create a new Docker file, Docker file. And this is going to be the content. So what we have here, we have our Docker file. I'm using Amazon Linux 2 to be compatible with AWS Lambda. Then we updated the, the, the packages in the machine. Then we install some libraries that we need to install Python properly and poetry properly on the machine because we're using poetry to set up the project. Here we are installing Python 3.9.6. And then we copy our pyproject.toml file into the Docker container, which is the file that contains the dependencies to the project. And okay, so, and then we install poetry in the machine. And I'm also upgrading pip to be, to use the latest version. Now for doing this, we need to create some scripts to run this Docker file and to create the zipped file to be the Lambda layer and then export it from the Docker container. So let's do this. The first file that I'm gonna create, I'm gonna call it container commands.sh. So those are the commands that we use in our project. So what we have here, this solution was inspired by another video that I saw on YouTube and I'm, and I'm going to attach a link to it. So, but what we are doing here, first of all, we run poetry, which was properly installed before in the Docker file. So actually this script will run inside the Docker container. So what we do here, we install the poetry dependencies from the TomL file these dependencies and then so there's a there's an issue with pillow specifically so i'm removing pillow and i'm going to install it separately using a link a public link that i found on the internet that i'm going to attach on this video as well and once we do this we go inside the virtual environment created by poetry and so this is the way that we could do it for example we this is the the directory that contains the virtual environments created by poetry and then we use this script to go inside the the directory without knowing the name so this is a linux command to go into the first directory inside a directory so for example if we are in a directory that contains multiple subdirectories this command allows us to go into the first one, which is, which in our case is the first virtual environment that was created by poetry. And then I'm going to set an environment variable to reference the path to the virtual environment created by poetry. Then we go to the root. Then we create a folder called Python. Then we move all the contents from the virtual environment to this folder called Python. Then we zip the whole content. Uh, so the folder has to be called Python because 
of what Lambda specifies. So for Python, we need to create the, the Lambda layer must be a folder called Python. In order to create a Python layer, you must create a folder called Python and put your dependencies here directly, or you can specify the path to the side packages. This is the default path from a Python version to the side packages, uh, which is using Python 3.9, for example. And if you're using Python 3.8, if you specify to use Python 3.8, then it's going to be Python 3.8 and so on. In our case, we are using basically using this structure here because I'm copying the whole content. So the libraries will be inside the site packages. And that's it. And now I'm gonna create another bash script to build the image, to run the Docker container, to inject this script into the Docker container, and to generate the zipped file, and then to copy the zipped file from the Docker container to the local machine. So I'm gonna create this here. I'm gonna call it generate lambda layer.sh. So what we are doing here, so first of all, we define some environment variables for Docker. This is going to be the name for our container. This is going to be the name for our Docker image. So first of all, we build the Docker file. So since we are in this subdirectory called scripts, we return to the previous directory and then we build this Docker file. And then we run the container. Once we build the, the Docker image, we run the container, we create this container using this Docker image that we previously created. And then we execute this bash script inside the Docker container. And then we copy the Python zip that we created here from the container to the local machine. And then we stop the container and then we delete the container since we don't need it anymore once, once this whole process is complete. So great, let's run this. It takes a few minutes to complete. Okay, great. So now that the process is complete, we have this new file that was created inside the Docker container and then it was exported from the Docker container to the local machine. Let's open up in Finder. So here we can see the file. If you want to unzip it and see the content, you will see that this is basically the content from the virtual environment. What we actually need is this lib, Python 3.9, site packages, and the, the, the libraries from the container, which is this structure specified by AWS Lambda. Okay, great. So, delete this since we don't need it. This is the file that we need to pass the Lambda layer. And then we go here. Let's create now. Let's create our Lambda layer. We're we going. We're going to create layer. I'm gonna call it PR code dependency layer. This is the layer that contains PR code package. Then I'm gonna, we're gonna upload the zip file, which is this one. So in our case, we're gonna use x86. X86. It's going to be compatible with Python 3.9. And then we create it. So we have to remember the name. It can take some time. So once our Lambda layer is created, we need to pass this Lambda layer to our function. We're gonna go here and then we scroll down to layers and then we click to add a layer we click to custom layers here we have some default AWS layers provided by Amazon itself 
in our case we're going to click to custom layers which is our layers and then we're going to specify our qr code dependence layer version one and then we click to add but the code is still not going to work because we added qr code library but we still need to properly configure pillow so if we remember well we decided to remove pillow from the package because of some issues that I faced whilst trying to stall pillow along the, the layers. So the easiest way that I found to do this was by using a public link, which is this one. So here on the internet, there is a public link with a lot of Lambda layers. It's a project on GitHub. So in our case, we're using North Virginia. So it's US East one. Then we go to US East one. Then we use HTML. And then we copy the inner end for the library that we, use, that we need. So for pillow, that's it. We copy this. And then we go to add a layer, specify by ERN, paste it here, verify. And that's it, we add. Now we have our two dependencies to run the code properly. The queue, the package that we created with QR code and a layer with pillow. But we need to define that the pillow layer has to be ported first because pillow is a dependency for the QR code library. So we click here click to merge earlier and then we click to save and now we have our lambda layers properly configured so if you click to test you see that the code works perfectly so I hope you liked it and I see you next time